Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Tesla Model S with autopilot, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Tesla claims not to believe in model years, but the tenth digit of its vehicle's VINs prove otherwise. The company introduced a standard range variant of the S in mid-2019, but continued it just weeks later. So the 2020 Model S is now only available as a long-range model with an EPA-estimated 370 miles of range and a performance model. In performance trim, the 2020 Tesla Model S has an EPA estimated range of 345 miles and a claimed 0 to 60 time of 2.4 seconds. The car's front drive unit and motor have been updated this year, and the S's air suspension is now adaptive, so it can offer a breezy ride on the highway and a stiffer one through corners. Rolling software updates will allow Model S owners to take advantage of V3 supercharging, a new charging architecture that Tesla says will reduce average Average charging time by 25 percent. With an electric motor dedicated to each of the front and rear axles, the 2020 Tesla Model S offers full-time all-wheel drive no matter which version you choose. Acceleration performance of the various models ranges from outstanding to ferocious. Driving range and acceleration performance varies from model to model with the base version's battery providing up to 370 miles of range like I said before and the performance model offering up to 345 miles of range. Under the Tesla's floor lies a battery pack that yields a low center of gravity and evenly distributed weight from front to rear. The 2020 Tesla Model S is an agile sports sedan with well-controlled body motions and direct steering. Two different settings allow drivers to choose heavy or light steering effort. The 2020 Tesla Model S is a five-passenger electric luxury sedan available in two configurations, that long range and the performance. Now, the performance sounds really great. It's very fast. Uh, it does 0 to 60 in under three seconds, and it's very expensive. Is it really worth the extra cost? It's about $20,000 or so more uh, for the performance model versus the base model, which is a long range, it has 370 uh, mile, up to 370 miles of range, and it's still pretty fast. One way or the other, whether you got the performance model or you got the base model, you definitely want to go for the optional autopilot features, right? If you're buying into the dream, you might as well buy in completely. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Tesla Model S. Teslas are fresh on my mind because I actually just did the Tesla Model 3 yesterday. Very cool vehicle. You know, I used to not be a fan of Teslas, and I'm not saying I'm a full-on fan now, but I certainly like them a lot more now than I did this time last year. So, if you're interested in all the Tesla stuff, I'm going to put a link up to my Tesla playlist right now. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's let's learn about the features of the 2020 Tesla Model S. There's not a whole bunch of information on the page, but we'll gather all the information. There's a section on uh, safety features, performance features, range, autopilot. That's the, uh, the optional uh, feature I said we should get. Autopilot uh, talks about the interior, exterior, specs, and then we can actually do the build and price. So we're going to go through this information real fast, learn all about the Tesla Model S, uh, and they say it is built from the ground up as an electric vehicle with high strength steel architecture and a floor mounted battery pack and allow, allowing for incredible impact protection. That's in addition to having a low center of gravity and 50, basically 50-50 weight distribution. Here they're telling us that the 2020 Tesla Model S has active safety features. I like active safety features. Active safety features basically means that if you don't respond in time, then the car will. So, for instance, they're, well, shifted to emergency braking. So, let's start here. It says it can detect objects and automatically apply brakes to prevent the impact. And then you can navigate on autopilot. Active guidance from on-ramp to off-ramp includes lane changes and exits. That's pretty cool. This is the kind of stuff that's really changed me about the Tesla in general. Yeah, it's super fast. All that's well and good. It's the technology that really gets me with the Tesla, not its performance. Speaking of performance... All-wheel drive, right? Let's talk about the performance. Up to two, uh, up to zero to sixty, up to two point four seconds. That's if you get the performance model. We'll talk about price and cost in just a second. Uh, if you get the performance model, it says that well, it'll do one hundred sixty-three miles an hour, and 
all-wheel drive is standard a dual motor setup all-wheel drive one motor for the front axle one motor for the, the back axle and regardless of configuration and trim level of 2020 model s you get all-wheel drive let's uh click this learn more tab and see what more we can learn so yeah here's a nice shot of the chassis right there's the two motors they're red here's the front motor here's the back motor here's that adaptive air suspension we can see those right there they look very expensive when it's time to get those bad boys fixed so yeah we know about this all electric powertrain low center of gravity best performance range and efficiency here's the deal if you get the long range variant it does 0 to 60 in a very fast honestly 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds that's no joke that's super quick and it has a range of 370 miles if you get the performance then it does 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds and it's got a range of 345 miles here they're talking a little bit more about that uh, dual motor all-wheel drive um, they, they both uh, can work independently of each other but I'm sure they can also work in parallel and in tandem with each other I was reading a, when I was doing the building price on the model 3 it said hey if the one of the motors goes down hey you're still good because that other motor can do everything and get you home so I'm sure it's the same deal on a Tesla Model S if one of those motors one of those two motors goes down you're still good because you have another motor okay we can't talk about an EV vehicle without talking about the range we can see that it's cut off over here on the screen I don't know why over here on the far left but that's 370 miles of range it says recharge up to 130 miles in 15 minutes at any supercharged location and there's 14,000 plus supercharged locations here there they kind of show you these hypothetical trips you could take like uh, if we click this learn more they'll surely tell us yeah San Jose to Los Angeles 340 miles Wow that's a big push they're telling you could basically travel the whole state sort of kind of Berkeley to Tahoe um, Manhattan to Boston they're kind of giving you some give you an idea that hey you're not just stuck in the city with these cars I think that's basically what they're trying to tell you you're not stuck in the city with these cars you can actually get out in the country or get out on the road and actually go drive these things but you better make sure there's a supercharged station right yeah well, here you go charge anywhere stay charged with convenient options anywhere you go at home on the road and upon arrival I, yeah, I certainly want an awesome one at home and then you'd have to plan your trips around these things because it's not a gasoline vehicle so you can't be out there pushing it you got to plan your trip around these charging stations and that's the whole thing you know the American car the car the, the the automobile represents freedom and if you're if you're tethered to a cord like we can see in this picture do you really have freedom no you don't all right but anyway I still like the car all right so home charging uh, here's on the road charging and here's up on arrival charging uh, park and recharge for your next destination while you're away from home da 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 da, da. here they're showing us all these 14,000 plus supercharged stations that are uh, throughout North America and then there's 1600 plus stations well I guess those are just perhaps regular charging stations where it's going to take a lot longer to charge your car that's a whole other thing if you're running late say you, you forgot to charge your car last night you're running late for work now you're flying out the door oh man the car needs charging you got to stop and you're stuck with this thing that's what I mean you know this thing is you know they're awesome but you know the charging thing the charging thing okay so let's talk about what well, we were talking about charging stuff let's talk about autopilot stuff because this stuff is cool this is the stuff that I love about the Teslas in general this is the same stuff that the Model 3 has to be quite honest with you so we're, for me it's a little bit redundant okay so up here they say it's got the 360 rear side and forward facing cameras that provide maximum visibility uh, it does a forward facing radar that can look out 160 meters and provides a long range view of distant objects and there's 12 ultrasonic sensors that can detect cars prevent potential collisions and help you with parking and so of course they have this learn more tab and so yeah we will learn more okay so four cool features navigate on autopilot this is super cool active guidelines from highway to on-ramp and to off-ramp on-ramp to off-ramp yeah we know that we kind of learned that already here's this one's cool the summon actively retrieve your car that's kind of cool and I mentioned yesterday the BMW 7 series actually does that and seeing that this car is as expensive as a 7 series I'm gonna go ahead and put a link up to the 7 series that I did a building price on right now 
Yeah, so now you'll see a link up to my 2020 uh, build I did on the 2020 BMW 750i xDrive M Sport. That's a honey of a car. I like. I forgot how much I actually like the 7 Series. I like those a lot. So I'll put a link up to that. And uh, yeah, the other thing here, there's auto park, parallel and perpendicular parking with a single touch. If you're not good at uh, auto uh, parallel and perpendicular parking, this car will nail it down for you. Then there's an auto change thing. This thing can automatically change lanes while driving on the highway. Right? It can get down the road, get around cars. That's actually pretty cool. The interior of the Teslas, and I'm just saying Teslas in general, they're just okay. But what's really awesome about them, I don't think they're the leather or the design is anything in particular. I don't think they're cool or anything. I mean, they're nice enough for their price point, of course. But what's really cool is that big 17-inch touchscreen display. That thing's awesome. This is this is the money shot right here. This is all about it right here. Those little chintzy aluminum pedals, they can keep it. But you got this whole LCD screen here, and you've got the whole 17-inch touchscreen. I can see Alcantara on the on the A pillar up there. So they're trying to do it nice. They're doing it nice. It says the Model S is built with best-in-class storage, seating for up to five adults, and an expansive 17-inch touchscreen, advanced noise engineering. Creates sound dynamics comparable to a recording studio, while the standard glass roof provides a spacious interior experience for every passenger. And yep, let's hit that learn more tab. After we see that it has 30 cubic feet, best in class storage with more cargo room than most SUVs. Over the air software updates introduce new features, functionality, and performance to your car. Right, because there is no dealer to go to. So yeah, it's got to be over the air. It's, it's nice inside the interior. It's very, very nice inside the interior. They say that the Model S has two driver... This thing's moving so quick. Model S has two driver displays, a center 17-inch touchscreen, and a second screen located behind the steering wheel. Um, and then you've got your seats here, spacious, comfortable driving. There's your front trunk. A second trunk in the front provides extra cargo room for all your things. And then, yeah, looks pretty good, the interior. There's your cup holders right there. Yeah, not bad. Actually, you know what? The interior is not bad at all. I think I like the Model S better than any of the other ones, and why wouldn't you? This is the most expensive one, I believe. And so, yeah, the Model S, if I were to have a Tesla, it would be this one. This is just super cool. This is just super cool. I love, I, I, I really do. I'm falling in love with these cars. I really am. Um, better over time. This is really cool. So, this 17 touchscreen, the 17 inch touchscreen is designed to improve over time with regular software updates, introducing new features, functionality, and performance. That is so awesome. Look how gorgeous that is. That is just, you just want to be in there. It's like, hey, you go to the store with somebody and be like, hey, you know what? I'll wait in the car while you go in and shop so you can just play with that 17 inch touchscreen because there's just so much to do in there. Um, let's talk about some other features here. They say media, FM radio and Bluetooth connectivity with on-demand and internet radio capability. There's navigation. Oh, they changed the screen here. See the screen? Does the screen change? Yeah, the screen changes. There's your media. Here's navigation, smart routing, automatically adjusts to real-time traffic. And then you got your controls, personalization, drive settings, climate controls, and cabin controls. And then, of course, your energy consumption because it is an EV, electric vehicle. Real-time energy consumption and range estimation. Thank you. Come back. Range estimation. And then, yeah, they were telling us it's got basically more room than most SUVs. It's got full flat seats and all that there. Pretty cool. Look at all the storage space. Very nice car. So here's max space. Look at all the stuff. That's a lot of stuff. You got all this luggage. It all fits in there. You could throw a bike in there. And if you're into snowboarding, I suppose, you can throw that in there there. So pretty cool. They're just showing the different configurations of how the utility, really. They're showing the utility of the storage. Because that's why they show the different things, luggage, a bike, a snowboard, because they want to show you it has flexibility with that. Apparently that glass roof is standard, expansive glass roof, and the Model S provides passengers with brighter, more spacious experience. So yeah, and then the premium interior, um, and then there's a pollutant-free inside and out. There's a hospital-grade air quality. Is it delivered to the HEPA filtra filtration system? There's an all-weather comfort, enhanced comfort with front and rear seat heaters, a heated steering wheel, wiper blade defrosters, and washer nozzle heaters. Then you've got all of this here. Prestine Sound, a custom audio system featuring 11 speakers with neodymium magnets and an 8-inch subwoofer. It probably cracks off, doesn't it? Probably sounds pretty good. Okay, we learned about the interior just now. Let's talk about the exterior, right? We know, oh, it comes in five signature colors. It's got a very low aerodynamic car with a low coefficient drag of 
Uh, it's got a roof rack compatibility thing, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it says this car was designed for speed and endurance with incredible aerodynamics, ludicrous performance, uncompromised aesthetics, automatic door handles, auto present upon approach, and withdraw when closed. Okay, sounds good. Let's learn more. Looks like we got some slides here. Um, oh, so it says we have some paint choices. So here's your Model S. Here's the pearl white multi coat. Here's the midnight silver metallic. Here's our solid black. Here's red multi coat and deep blue metallic. Now, I don't know about the Model S, but when I did the build in price yesterday on the Model 3, only one color was like a no charge. Every other color you had to pay extra for. And I'm wondering. And we'll find that out when we get to the build-in price, um, if that's the case uh, with the Model S. Here's wheels. So we have some wheel options. Here's the 19-inch silver wheels. Here's the 19-inch Sonic Carbon Slipstream. And these beautiful bad boys right here, the 21-inch Sonic Carbon Twin Turbine wheels. Premium wheels with improved performance and handling. Okay, but wait, there's more. Attention to detail. Every element was designed. Uh, with the pa driver and passenger in mind, it says uncompromised aesthetics and ludicrous performance. There's those automatic door handles. Here's that carbon fiber spoiler with the Model S with incredible aerodynamics. Uh, yeah, hang on one second. Let's 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 find something out. So there's the spoiler that come that provides the Model S with incredible dynamics. Now is that the same spoiler? Does it come with whether this is the performance variant or the base model? Because if this is the spoiler that comes on the performance variant, you got to pay a lot of extra money. Uh, just to get that bad boy. All right, so let's move on. So yeah, we're just gonna look at some very, very, very quick specs. Very quick specs. We're gonna do our build and price on the long range. So we're gonna look at the specs for the long range. It weighs 4,883 pounds. Got 30 feet of cargo space. Uh, it can do. It's got 370 miles of range up to. It's got all-wheel drive. We can get the 19 or 21 inch wheels. And it could take one to eight weeks for delivery. There's a four-year basic vehicle warranty and an eight-year battery and power. Whoops, an eight-year battery and powertrain <laughs> warranty. What I really want to do is I want to click that expand list um, for the long-range model, so we can see some other things. Um, so with charging, access to Tesla's global supercharged network. I'm not going to read every one of these. I just kind of wanted to see some highlights. 12-way power adjustable seats. You got the HEPA air filtration, LED fog lights, lots of stuff. Backup camera, the latch system, four-wheel analog brakes, keyless entry, Wi-Fi, LED ambient lighting, 17-inch touchscreen, two USB ports, a uh, lot of stuff. Center armrest with two cup holders. They're giving you quite a bit of stuff. Uh, you can even check out the owner's manual, apparently. All right, so that's everything. Let's look. This vehicle is what? Uh, can we find some length here? The length of this, uh, the Tesla is 196 inches. Uh, the wheelbase is 116 inches. And the width is, with the mirrors, the width is 86.2 inches. Ground clearance is anywhere from 4.6 inches to 6.3 inches. And the front track, for those who want to know, is, well, that's really unimportant for most of us, isn't it? Yeah, front track 65.4, rear track 66.9. You know what? Let's go do the build and price. I think we're probably ready for that. Yeah, we are. So it says order now. And this is where now we'll be able to see what the actual prices are. The reason why I haven't mentioned it is because they don't actually talk about it till you get way over here. Okay, so now we can see the prices. Yeah, the performance model is $20,000 more than the long range so you're paying a lot more money for to honestly just to be able to go just as just a skosh faster honestly that's really about it yeah and that carbon fiber spoiler that's a very expensive twenty thousand dollar spoiler uh long range mode uh does not get that but you can still get the 21 inch wheels and that's cool so the long range model is seventy two thousand six hundred fifteen uh dollars the performance costs ninety two thousand six hundred fifteen dollars uh we're not building the performance we're building out the long range uh epa estimated 370 miles of range 155 miles an hour top speed zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds let's move on to the color uh let's see see it says pearl white is an included color Black costs a thousand dollars. Midnight silver costs fifteen hundred dollars. Deep blue costs fifteen hundred dollars. And this co and red costs twenty five hundred bucks. You know what? Give me black. Black works. And I want the twenty one inch wheels. That looks hot. Um, the wheels are forty five hundred bucks. The interior. So you could do the all black. You could do black and white, 
or you can do cream. Well, the cream costs 1500 bucks. Black and white costs 1500 bucks. All black and uh, with ashwood decor is a no-cost option. Premium audio system, cold weather package, HEPA air filtration, premium connectivity. It's a one-year subscription. They give you internet browser, more frequent over-the-air updates. Oh, so you got to pay for those updates going forward. Music and media over Bluetooth, LED fog lamps, um, custom driver profiles, all that there. Let's move on to that autopilot. Yep, we're going to get this. It's $6,000. I'm going to just select it. Then we can come back and see. It, autopilot is included. Enables your car to steer, accelerate, and brake automatically for other vehicles and pedestrians within its lane. And this is all the full self-driving capability can do. Navigate on autopilot. Auto lane change. Auto park. And you can summon your vehicle. Later on in the year, they're saying it, you can recognize and respond to traffic lights and stop signs. That'll be an over-the-air update probably. And then automatic driving on city streets. That is awesome. So right around town now, you can just jump in your Tesla and it'll drive you to the gym or to the grocery store and all that there. I say the gym because after this video, I'm going to the gym. Okay, so now we're over here at payment because to uh, process this, they want you to cut them a, send them a, uh, cut, uh, pay $2,500 deposit. You can get a full refund in seven days or a thousand miles, whichever comes first when you get your car back. When, and if you don't want it, uh, you can contact. They can, you can have them contact you about solar energy. And request a home charging quote as well. Because you, you're definitely going to want to set one of those up. And as fast as possible. So what's the price of this bad boy? So it's still it's still $91,000. So it's still. So the base model is the cost of the performance. Once you do all the stuff to it. <laughs> so there you go. Alright. And due today. You better cut them a check for $2,500. Alright. I still like the car. I don't like the way they do their whole thing. I wish there was a dealer network. Blah, 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 blah. But there's not. Whatever. I like the car. I really like the Model S. I'm, I'm kind of feeling the Teslas. I'm feeling the Teslas. So I'm going to wrap this video up. Cool car. If you've watched the whole video, you're awesome. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.